You might remember the COVID comm system from last winter. Governor Hutchinson reinstated the system in July as the summer surge began, and it has become a useful tool, but now it's critical. Our Jay Burr visited MIMS today where the COVID comm system is operated. Jay, how are they handling this current situation? Uh, well, really, as best they can. The COVID comm system actually kind of an extension of Arkansas's trauma system. It basically tracks what hospitals have what kind of room ability and where they are at in the state of Arkansas. And really just seeing a majority of red along the dashboard just illustrates how dire the situation here is in Arkansas. Much like the tower at Clinton National Airport tells airplanes which runways to go to and when, COVIDCOM program manager Jeff Tabor says their dispatchers work the same way. We're coordinating destinations for, for nearly 800 ground and air ambulances for trauma, um, 90 hospitals for trauma, and now every hospital in the state for COVID. The mission is simple. Our goal is to get the right patient to the right hospital, the closest, most appropriate hospital. There are 43 hospitals in the system to handle COVID patients. Patients are assigned different levels based on a clinical assessment. They're then sent to hospitals capable of handling their needs, which recently have not always been available. Started uh, with, with some uh, you know, wiggle room in there and so I've seen, but the last, the last week, the last few days has definitely been more difficult. They have sent patients from one corner of the state to the other, but if certain levels of beds are not available, Patients have to wait and the lines have gotten longer. It ebbs and flows. That is the limiting factor. We put those in a holding pattern and, uh, and continuously monitor the dashboard, which the hospitals keep up um, as live as live can be. Daver says the general public needs to do more to help keep cases from taking off. The public assistance is so much more needed now, i.e. vaccinations, mask wearing. We're back to, to, we're back to having a social distance. And so if, if the public would just um, be a little more you know, involved in the health care system that we have now, it would help tremendously. Now, Tabor also adds that many of their more recent callers have actually decided to wait for hospital spaces that are available that are closer to them. So instead of getting transferred you know, from one end of the state to the other, he also does say that many hospitals will actually fill a lot of their availability before they can even update the dashboard. He does say that many hospitals uh, will work with out of state hospitals if there is a need because they do not actually do that, but many hospitals will do that on their own accord if there's a need and if there is. Availability. But for now, live outside of MEMS here in Little Rock, Jay Burt, Fox 16 News.